Okay, it's been about five minutes. I've let the solution cool. It's nice and cold out here today, so it's it's pretty easy to do. Um, here's that film I was talking about. Now that it's stopped boiling, you can see it a little bit better. Um, as you can see, it'll mix into solution, and then right when I stop, it'll begin to form on the surface. If we take a look down here, you'll see that there's about a half inch of salt. Um, this is normal for this process. This is because of the supersaturation, and with the cold air outside, it's condensing already. Um, now is when you would add the so, uh, sulfuric acid. So I'll get my concentrated sulfuric acid here. And my measuring cup. Now this is when the filters are going to come in very handy to keep the fumes down. So I'm going to put the filters on top of the coffee pot. Spray it down. It's dried a little since the boiling. Make sure that's nice and wet. And you're going to want to add the sulfuric acid in little increments. I'd say about 10 to 25 at a time. Uh, Laser Steve's recipe calls for 56 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid for every 100 milliliters. Um, since I'm doing five times the amount, that'll come out to 280 milliliters. So I will pour my sulfuric acid. 25 milliliters there. Take this off and slowly pour. And you'll see you might get a little disturbance. And then you'll see that this is very, very cloudy. That is also normal. This is the salt developing. Just make sure this is over the coffee pot and that'll do a very good job of keeping all the bad fumes away from you. Okay, so I'm going to continue this. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to put all 280 milliliters of the concentrated sulfuric acid into the solution, and then I will get back to you and show you the results. Um, another thing to note is you see that just from the sodium nitrate alone, we're already up to six cups, opposed to the approximate three that it was at. Um, should be to about the 8 cup mark once I've added all the sulfuric acid. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I've put the full 280 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid into the solution. Um, as you can see, due to the red color of my sulfuric acid, the solution is a very yellow, almost orange solution. Um, this will clear up substantially once the condensation process is done. Um, I'm going to hold this up to the light first so you can see that there is about three quarters to a full inch of salt. Um, this is where by far the most salt will be created in this entire process. As you can see, um, the solution is at about seven cups a little less than I predicted and if you look very closely you can see that there's still salt condensing and dropping down from the solution. Um, what I'm going to do now is let this sit out here another 20 minutes, let it condense a little bit more um, and then I will pour this solution off into my small uh, container that can safely store nitric acid. This is an amber bottle uh, covered in plastic. Then what I'll do from there is put it in the freezer for two to three hours and I will get back with you after that is done. Hello. It's been about four hours since I poured the sulfuric acid. Um, since then the smaller container has been condensing in the freezer. Uh, I've already poured off the nitric acid 
as you can see, that's about, I'd say, five to six hundred milliliters. Um, as I said before, the solution would clear substantially, which it has. It appears green right now because of the plastic that encases this bottle, but in actuality, it's quite clear. It's almost like water. Um, I got a little bit more salt than I expected in, in the condensing for the small container in the freezer, and to me that means that I didn't leave it outside long enough. Um, the bulk of it should have been in this container. As you can see, we have a nice looking block of crystal in the bottom of the coffee pot. And then we have a slush type looking material in the smaller nitric acid container. Okay, here's the test vial. It has about one milliliter of the solution. And I have here a small piece of sterling silver. It's from a chain. I'm going to drop this into solution, add a little heat, and you'll see the reactivity of the nitric. Just going to drop it in there. And I don't know if you can see this very well, but there's an immediate reaction. It's already starting to bubble. Um, if I were to add some heat to it, it'd probably dissolve within I'd say 20 seconds. It's it's really reacting very well. This sterling has already turned a dark brown to blackish color and the solution is already turning a tint of blue. So this is a very good indicator that the solution has uh, come out very well. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I'd like to just give a special thanks to Laser Steve for the recipe. And let's keep the form going.